How to get a U.S. visa. This video will outline my understanding of the non-immigrant working visa for the United States, specifically the E3. This is a visa available to Australians wanting to work in America. But if that doesn't apply to you, this visa is similar to the H-1B visa. The process of getting a working visa is complicated. Most people told me to hire a lawyer, but that costs around $2,000 US. If you can figure it out yourself, this visa is a steal at only $205. Step 1. First you need to have the US equivalent of a bachelor's degree, or more than 10 years experience in your field. Step 2. Then you need a job offer for a specialty occupation that requires your specific degree. But how do you get a job in a country that you're not allowed to enter yet? Some people fly into the States on the Visa Waiver Program, which gives them three months in the country. If you're going to do that, then I wouldn't recommend telling immigration that you've arrived in America to look for work. I was already living in America on the J-1 Work Travel Visa, so I went about finding a job. When you have a job offer, you need to make sure that your employer is willing to meet some very distinct salary requirements. Basically, your employer needs to pay you a salary equal or higher to the prevailing wage, which is the salary paid to a majority of workers in that field and in that area. For example, if you're going to be hired as an accountant in San Francisco, you'd need to earn at least $57,000 annually. Alternatively, if you're still pretty fresh out of accounting school, you could try your luck at an accounting job in West Virginia, where you would only have to be paid $36,000 a year. This prevailing wage is to make sure that foreign workers don't come into the country and undercut US workers, driving the minimum wage down. Once you have a job offer, then you're ready for step three. Complete a labor condition application form. And for this, you'll need to have your employer's federal employer identification number, and North American Industry Classification System Code. Step 4. Get a letter of offer from your employer. Step 5. Get a written job description outlining your specific duties. Step 6. Fill out an online DS-160 form and pay the $205 fee. Step 7. Book an interview at a United States consulate. I booked my interview in Vancouver, Canada. Step 8. Get a passport photo. I forgot this step and had to quickly get one the morning of my interview. When I left America to fly to Canada, I didn't know if I was coming back. There was definitely a chance that my visa wouldn't be approved. I took all of my belongings with me and said goodbye to my friends. Waiting inside the consulate, there was a moment where I realized that someone else would come into work today and decide my life for the next two years. Did you get it? Uh, I just, Hello? I just, I just came out of the interview. I got an E3 visa. <laughs> Kevin! Yeah, I got Kevin! it. I got it.